hey guys what's up and welcome back to the channel i hope you guys are doing well so in today's video i'm going to make cinnamon sorrel banana bread so if you guys would like to see more of this recipe just keep watching so to make this recipe add two small bananas to a medium sized bowl two extra small ripe bananas it has to be extra ripe the, the riper the banana is is the better for this recipe it's going to taste so much more delicious with the ripe bananas so just take your fork right there and just break the bananas all the way down completely So that looks pretty good guys as you guys can see it's almost done it should look something just like this we're just going to do it for a few more seconds and then we're going to add two eggs into the bowl with the bananas next you want to lightly mix that in we're going to add some light brown sugar to that we're also going to add some yogurt to that next we're going to add two tablespoons of unsalted butter Next, you just want a lightly mix to combine. Once we fully combine all the ingredients, we're going to set that to the side. We're going to get a small size bowl. We're going to add one and a half cup of flour to that. We're going to add baking powder, baking soda, nutmeg to give lots of flavor, cinnamon, and then just lightly mix to combine. We're going to add our dry ingredients to our wet ingredients. And I just went in right here, guys, with just a splash of sea salt, just a tiny bit of sea salt, just to add some flavor. Now we're going to add the dry ingredients to the wet ingredients. Now we're going to mix very well. We mix very well to combine these ingredients. Once you're done mixing very well, your batter should look something just like that. Fully incorporated, mixed very well. We're going to get a small size bowl, add some sugar and cinnamon, mix very well. We're going to grease a small baking pan with non-stick arm spray. We're going to add the butter inside of the pan, just like that. Just shake it a little bit, just like that, just to spread the butter out inside of the pan. We're going to add that sugar and cinnamon on top of it. This is cinnamon swirl banana bread, guys. So we have to add that sugar and cinnamon on top of it. Once you're done adding that, we're going to um, just add the butter on top of that and just use a spoon or whatever you're using and just spread that out. We're going to add the final topping of that um, sugar and cinnamon again on top of that. That's what it looks like, guys. This butter smells very good. And the baking time is just 34 to 35 minutes. Um, once it's done, once you're done baking for 34 to 35 minutes, this is what it looks like. Came out looking good. The taste is amazing. It's nice and gooey. That's the final results. I hope you guys enjoy watching this video. Hope to see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye.